Many Australian frogs are on the brink of extinction, and some are likely to already be extinct. This consists of the Queensland's northern and southern gastric brooding frog, mountain mist frog and northern tinker frog, and the yellow spotted tree frog from the Australian Alps. To start with, this video would be about the Queensland's northern and southern gastric brooding frog. The Queensland's northern gastric brooding frog was officially listed as extinct on the 16th of July 2000. Their scientific name was Robatrichus vitellineus. The immoderately large squat frogs had granular skin on the above and had pale brown with dark brown blotches on the body and limbs. Males were 55 millimetres and females 80 millimetres. On the underside, they were smooth and white or brown in colour with bright yellow-orange coloration on the lower abdomen and undersides of the limbs. The ear cavity was not visibly externally. They had a blunt snout, three fingers and fully webbed toes. They were only found in undisturbed parts of the rainforest in the Clark Range mid-eastern to Queensland at altitudes of 400 to 1,000 metres. Considering the isolated nature of the Clark Range, it is unlikely the species was more extensive prior to discovery in January 1984. Despite much searching, this frog has not been seen since March 1985. A monitoring programme was put in place to see if they were susceptible to population decline like what happened to their relative, the southern gastric brooding frog. They were recorded in living in a rainforest where the only human disturbance was a poorly defined walking trail. They were in shallow, rocky, broken water areas, and the water in these areas were cool and clear. They lived here with the Angula day frog, which was also believed to be extinct in 1985, but few remaining frogs were found. Northern gastric brooding frogs gave birth in January to February. It brooded its young in its stomach to protect them from potential predators. The female swallowed the fertilised eggs or embryonic tadpoles and they would then secrete an enzyme which would stop the female's production of hydrochloric acid to prevent digestion so they could finish to develop in the stomach. During this time period, the frog wouldn't eat anything, but four days after giving birth, the digestive system would go back to normal. After six to seven weeks, the tadpoles metamorphosed into froglets. Once they had fully developed into froglets, they would get regurgitated from the mouth. There is only one documented observation, and 22 froglets were brooded. The birth approximately lasted 34 hours. The young were born underwater, however it is unknown whether this was usually the case or just a coincidence. They had a diet of small crayfish, caddis fly larvae, terrestrial and aquatic beetles and sympatric frog species like the Anguilla day frog. In rainfall they were observed on exposed rocks in and adjacent to a stream. The reason for their extinction is unknown as there isn't an obvious reason to provide evidence for seasonal variety, overcollecting, predation, drought, floods, habitat destruction, disease or stress from data collectors was responsible for the population decline. The frog disease Chytrid fungus could have caused their extinction as it causes scattered deaths and often 100% mortality as Chiridomycosis is suspected for causing three other stream-dwelling, direct-developing frogs extinction, including the southern gastric brooding frog. The southern gastric brooding frog. The southern gastric brooding frog is also extinct, and they have the scientific name Reobatrichus psyllus. It is suspected that logging and disturbance in the water quality in the habitats may have had an effect on the population. However, scientists are currently working on de-extincting it and have DNA samples from a frozen southern gastric brooding frog. They were originally discovered in 1973. The southern gastric brooding frog was an, an aquatic frog which lived in southeast Australia. They were officially listed as extinct in 2002, yet none had been reported since 1981. They had protruding eyes and a small flattened head.